What is your astrology sign? Um, I'm a Gemini, Scorpio rising, Capricorn man. Thank you ever so kind. I said, do you have a kid? Do you have a daughter? Yes, daughter. I picked it up. Ah! Okay. And, um, she's affected by the corona, too, or whatever. The virus. She's affected by it. And it's affecting her. She has brown hair. Mm -hmm. And it's down here. And she's tall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tall. She, yeah, tall for a girl, yeah. And she's more tan looking. Like, yeah. More, she yeah, she, she goes outside. <laughs> you are hell. She's tan. She has, like, blue eyes. No. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, she got my nose, yeah. And she has, like, a point in her nose? Mm -hmm. Point, yeah. And, um, she's skinny? Um, she has been, but she's, like, put on some white now just some stress from eating and everything. She, she got that from me, but... Okay. Uh, she wants to be something in corporate. She has thick eyelashes, mm -hmm. and they're dark black. The eyelashes. Mm -hmm. I was like, like a nap on you. And she speaks about civil rights or something. What does that even mean? Uh, and she's very serious and she wants a plantation or something. She wants a plant store or she something. Just, she wants that she has plants like aloe vera plants at her store shop. She has a stop shop. She wears sandals and long yeah. dresses and stuff. Uh, sometimes, yeah. I mean, I couldn't tell you what she's doing right now because I haven't. Does she have a yeah, son? Like, no, no. Does she take care of a boy? Uh, she might take care of a boy, but uh, she, she takes she, care she's of a boy. She's only 19, so okay. better not have any kids yet. Right, well, she takes care of a little boy or something, mm -hmm. like she babysits or something? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, her brother. Her, her, and he's not my kid. He, he has her. blonde hair. Mm hmm. And um, he's got the bottle. He, he's that age. And she's just nice, married, and nourishing. What's her shy sign? She's more February 23rd. Oh my goodness, she's a Pisces, and she's a sweetheart, and she's got multiple little creative talents going on mm -hmm. with her. She likes plants. Yep. She wants to have a plantation and a house full of plants. Um, she's moved far away with, uh, with a guy. Uh, she has, she, oh, she, yeah, she, to visit with a guy, yeah, she's, yeah. She, she, uh, and she talks about her dad, and she needs the visa. She has a visa. I mean, she doesn't get it from me. She gets it from her grandparents. But she has a visa. Uh, yeah, it's from, from somebody my parents, else. Yeah. From your fan, your dad's parent. Okay. Yeah. Um. Her mother wants to be an orthodontist, or she she wanted something like that. She would have said along the line. She's a pharmacy tech now. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. And then she takes everybody's temperature and stuff with a gloves on. Probably that's where she works. Wherever she works. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. And her hair is kind of curly. Mm -hmm. It's like this, like, fluff big. It's like curly and she likes gel in it or something. Mm -hmm. And it, her hair is like this brownish, burgundy-ish color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a tint of burgundy, but it's brown. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, cool. Yeah, she got curly right now. Um, she's real spiritual too or something? Yeah. She wants a turtle that lays eggs. She had a turtle that lay eggs. She took care of a turtle? Yeah, I had a turtle for a while. Yeah. And the turtle laid eggs? I have no idea. Or she just wanted to? I think she just wanted to. Oh, okay. Oh, she tried to get it pregnant, too? By turtle sperm? Probably, yeah. She's bred turtles. That sounds like something she would attempt to do. I think that's what she did. And, um... She had a pet snake, and she says, it keeps on looking at me, or something like that. Snake always looks at me. I, like a garden snake, I think. Like, well, I don't know about my, my ex, a different ex. Oh. Uh, the first Noah had oh. snakes. Oh, she did. And she, and she was fascinated by it? Your daughter? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then yeah. she's like, hmm. Just warning about turtle eggs. She kept on warning about turtle eggs in my visions. I don't know. Um, you know a girl named Cassie? Or she knows a girl named Cassie? I, I, know, I know some Cassie and she knows some Cassie. She does? Okay. I do too, yeah. Are they like, we, have, we know different ones, but yeah. Are they like kids? Um, the one she knows is, actually they're both around the same age. They're, they're like 19 to 22. Um, okay. The one I know is here. Back down there. Okay, back to the retain. Um, uvula, Oliver, I don't know, Olivia. 
Okay. Um, Something about your daughter saying that, or she wants well, to name her kid Eugene. Noah, the, my first ex, Noah, now goes by Oliver. And um, I have a trans friend, and now Olivia. Olivia. Okay. <laughs> um. Um, hot dog stand. She would always go to the hot dog stand wherever she went with her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And she would just live off that every day, kind of, when she, where she was vacating with her, the guy. Mm -hmm. And the guy, he starts skin too. Oh, yes, he has, like, curly I'm, black hair. I'm about okay, and, um, is like, a different, uh, uh, uh accent. Mm -hmm. I think so. I don't know. I think I know you're talking about. I meant a few references. And she's like, I was in a receipt. Um, she had some pink breads on before. That were for kids. And she just wore them. Yeah. And that's cool. And she wanted, she had a, she had like this artist um, painting with paint stuff on it. You know how you carry around the actual artist? Yeah. She has that. I'm seeing her carrying around that. And uh, some kind of tiger she was painting because it painted its teeth. And stuff because it was outside somewhere for somebody. It was like it's someone cheetah. Mm. It was a cheetah or something. I don't know. I mean, like I have to. Since I've been up here. Okay. You know, we're in different okay. places. You know, we don't. Mm -hmm. We don't. We're not as close as we used to be. Okay. She likes going to uh, cliffs and mountains or something, mm -hmm. with a hat on. I don't know. I'm just seeing like a baseball cap and then like a ponytail. I mean, she's all, like, doing grown-up things. I don't know. For whatever. She's pretty cool, and that's an adventure. I could just travel through her life and just see what's going on in there. Um, I guess she's the one carrying around the spirit, so I can see the light on her. Yeah. And then, um, a dominant pain in your mother, and she wears glasses, mm -hmm. and you look more like your mom. You look like your mom. Uh, I look like both of them. I mean, Ways, Your dad is, um, taller, mm -hmm. and he wears glasses, too. Your mom, mother does, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's skinnier than your mother. Yeah. yeah. And, um, <clears throat> and, um, he's, like, some kind of doctor coat. And, you know, wears a doctor coat, mm -hmm. whatever. But some saying, you should dumb stuff. I'm supposed to tell you, right? Because then I'm cheating. And then, um. Your mother had three sons or something? Uh, well, she had two of us. Uh, it did kind of raise my half-brother, so, I mean, kind of. And your half-brother looks nothing like y'all? <laughs> uh, well, he's, he's, he's my dad's, and, uh, his first wife. So, I mean... Did she have miscarriages, too? My mother, yeah, I see. She, she had, like, three miscarriages? Yeah, they, were, she, they had a lot of trouble... Uh, Fetuses. ...having, um, my brother. I was the first one, and I had a lot. But she did have miscarriages, like three of them. I mean, I'm not the number I know Three that. fetal. Because I was little. Okay. But I remember having to go to Little Rock all the time so she could get the injections. And... Okay. Okay. Um. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Did she ever sing that just like for the hell of it? Like, who doesn't? Alright. But, um,. She kept track of you, and sometimes she did have something on her finger to check her thing, and she has like a little machine for yeah, oxygen. She's not, she's, she's not bad. She has to. She has a machine for like oxygen tank too. She has to before uh, like sleep apnea for, for a while. I, remember, I just remember the oxygen tank being there. It was when I was younger. Okay, and um, I don't know. Something about her toe like was busted up and be mm -hmm. a little bl blood blisters it's in her all, toe like, on the right the right it's foot. All like, yeah, it looks and it crushed crushed in. Yeah. Uh, it means there, but it's like it's pushed over. It was. I remember, she did she have she have a uh, silver tooth back here? Mm -hmm. And she's like, it looks just like my quarter. She put a quarter in her mouth or something, or like a nickel. I, I don't know. Just to compare it, I have no clue. And one of her back teeth is missing too. Mm -hmm. On the left side, on the top. Mm -hmm. That's just missing. And um, she has a piercing that is gauged, like little gauged. 
Yes, sir. You know, it's, she didn't engage it, but she had a fight like when she was younger, and it got and it got pulled on this side, and it got, the left side. And it got pulled, so like the hole is big. Oh, look at your Gemini uh, tattoo and it's Scorpio rising tattoos. That's groovy. Mm -hmm. You're making the Cap Capricorn move. Yeah, I definitely have to do that because that's important to attention. Um, especially with your purpose being the tenth house, what you came here to gain, and Leo. Mm -hmm. Um, and um. <clears throat> To express yourself in front of everybody. All kinds of good stuff. Yeah. And then, um... Um... That's the way uh, I like it. Does she sing that, your mom? Um, I mean, she has. She yeah, loves she food. Likes food. She yeah, likes yeah. to go to the fast food restaurants like McDonald's and Burger King. Mm -hmm. And um, she's like, that's the way uh -huh, I like it. Like, she'll just say a funny joke like that. And she's like doing laundry and she's trying to get the kids to do laundry well who doesn't and then she has like a small shop back looking thing and it's oh yeah, yeah sure. and it's blue or something yeah it is blue. it is really wow it's blue and green but i think it's predominantly blue cool uh, oh, man. um she had used to be like wearing scrubs before too mm -hmm. she is purple scrubs or pink and purple scrubs this one I'm seeing, I guess, and, um, it was for kids. Like, she was a nurse for kids or a receptionist. It was yeah. a children's hospital. Yeah, she was, a, she was a pharmacist, but she volunteers a lot at the, the uh, thing for kids with the church and the medical and all that. So oh, wow. Which she does now that she's retired. Cool. I can see that, too, but she still was productive with oh, herself. Yeah, she and, um, <clears throat> um, she wears sandals and, um... She had something wrong with her armpit. She had to get moles removed from her armpit. They were big moles. Yeah, I feel like. Is that true? <laughs> and this <laughs> armpit. Arm down, yeah. This is the left armpit. I'm correct. This guy, I don't even know. Isn't that so cool? And then she tried to get her car started. It was red, and she smoked cigarettes in it. Well, she, she says did, it's a bad she, habit. She didn't smoke cigarettes either, but the rest of us did. So oh, like, okay. Well, she had to clean them up. She does a bunch yeah, of cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. She says it's a bad habit, is what she mm -hmm. says. And it's a red car, right? It's like a little uh, triangle, square looking thing. Yeah, it's a little convertible. Uh, yeah. I don't make it anymore, but yeah. And um, you have a long driveway. A long driveway? Mm -hmm. It's like. It goes around the back. And on the other part, it's like circular. So. And y'all have a swimming pool? Uh, no, we got all. We used to. Yeah, we're, 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 we have, I had to get rid of it because my mom can't swim. Yeah, you used to have a swimming mm -hmm. pool. And there's like a palm tree looking thing in your backyard. It's a little kind of palm tree ish, really. Yeah, she doesn't show it. It's like a palm tree in your backyard. And then you have like. You live on a cliff. And the shingles are brown on the house. Mm. Not like their house, but I had a I lived outside of Austin. It was two I, stories. I, we, yeah, I had a I had a townhouse. And it was like it was like that brown type shit, tile shingles and that. Cool. Yeah, they're like, like tiles, uh, squares. Uh, and it looked rotten yeah. wood though, you mm -hmm. know. Like the color is all dark and stuff, but it still looked nice. And the yard was always clean. And you have a big giant dog. Yeah. On the left side of the uh, pavement, you can see it trying to jump up, and it was so dry. And it was chewed through the fence. It was like a wooden fence, and it was a very tall fence. But it was still chewed through the whole. And it was a brown dog. It was brownish mm. gray. Yeah. Its ears were flopped down. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a chocolate. really tall. Yeah. yeah, like a chocolate, chocolate gray kind of mm -hmm. color to me. And um, it was a girl or named Marley or something like that. What was his name? And then there was oh, a, there's, well, there's, they had another there's, little dog. It looked like a schnauzer. Yeah, there's, and that had two legs that were missing in the back legs. Uh, eventually, okay, but eventually the back legs were broken. I mean, they were. I think and it was, was very small. Dog, yeah. It was a small dog and schnauzer. And it was in the back there, coexisting with a giant dog, mm -hmm. looking funny together. And now they have five or six dogs. They were pals. Sadly, that one died. Mm -hmm. The one with the broken legs. Well, yeah, it had to put, put to down. death, like, it had an auction mouth on while it was dying, for some reason. And it ate chalk or something, there was chalk in the backyard, people, kids were playing with chalk and that dog started eating on the chalk. I don't know, yeah, that, 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 
he got he got out in the, uh, the kids and, yeah. oh, okay. and, and, and they were just and looking a bunch of stuff and it wasn't supposed to see. Wow, okay, yeah, I would eat it was and chocolate cherry yes, stuff chocolate, chocolate cherry. Cherry chocolate. That's what I'm seeing eating chocolate cherry. It was no good for that dog, it says, but it, it just kept on chewing because it was nervous. Um, oh, your mom was real nice to it, though? Mm -hmm. she, loves, she, loves, all she dogs. loves them. Oh, she loves them. They treat them like humans. Mm -hmm. She's so sweet about that. What is she, Aquarius? What's her sign? August uh, the 3rd. Oh, she's like a Virgo or Leo, the Lion King. Oh, my goodness. Um... Um, does she have a tattoo on her foot? Uh, no, I don't think so. She, never got, she was going to get one, but she never did. But my ex, uh, mm. my daughter's mother has a tattoo on her foot. Okay, but she kind of looks like your mom. <laughs> a little bit, actually. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And, um, parking ticket. She got a parking ticket? Uh, yeah, one in Benville. It ended up costing $1,200 because she wouldn't pay it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... She just sits around by the pool or something. Yeah, she, when she, she works. Does she have a pet alligator? Yeah, I think she had a little wood briefly. A let alligator allow her? Yeah. And she's not the parents of the alligator. Probably. I don't and know. the alligator she had was small. And then it grew up a little bit bigger. And <laughs> bigger. And <laughs> she wasn't a coward or whatever. But the, 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 the alligator was a coward. I think, I don't know, but it snapped at her. I don't really know. I'm just seeing something that I'm just telling you. Because mm -hmm. it seems to be real. And she, someone owned a shop downstairs, and she lived upstairs for a while, like in a room, right. without no bed, just a chair. There was a... She lived on a chair, before right? Before she moved back to Texas, Canada, the last apartment she had in Bentonville? Not Rogers, mm -hmm. anyway. Spring Hill, brother. Uh, yeah, it was above a... Uh, uh, it was a top floor of a building. It's like a the studio. Top floor was like, there was like an attorney and there was a mechanic and some other shit just a bunch of And uh, when she first moved in up there, yeah, she like didn't have any furniture at all. At all. She lived in the chair. Yeah, and she got furniture, but yeah. Yeah, all. and she'd wear a bathing suit all the time for some reason. And yeah. she would do her clothes in the in the bathtub. Mm-hmm. And she had a son, too? She doesn't have yeah. Oh, she takes her son to the bathtub. <laughs> he has blonde hair. Mm-hmm. His name's Jimmy. Uh, I don't know. Is, is, uh, what is his name? I don't know. He's kind of a maniac. Uh, Craig, Craigie. I don't really know, but something about Jimmy. I can't remember. And, um, like, uh, glucose. I don't know. Um, something about his glue. He's allergic to gluten or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's allergic to he's gluten. He's allergic to yeah. gluten. I'm seeing and feeling. And that's interesting, right? It's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is. So cool, and um, his glucose level, he has to be, and he's really tan looking, he's a good looking kid, he has blue eyes. Yeah, he does that sound a lot, yeah. Oh, um, know. his name's Anthony, or his best friend's name is Anthony, I don't know, I'm just kidding, we his sort of names. And uh, he just got a pal, doctor, stuff, I don't know, and he's seen your dad before, mm -hmm. doctor wise, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. as what I'm seeing, and um, you just can't figure out what's wrong with him, is what they keep saying. He keeps saying, I don't know. And, um, until they probably eventually, um, the gluten thing, because... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he was sick for a long time. He, 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 yeah, he was allergic to that. Sick yeah. all the time for that, and he just doesn't know, and his mouth would swell up and stuff, and he was just disciplined enough to tolerate it, but he was just used to how it was horrible feeling. He felt all soggy. Because he was allergic to this gluten, and I'm feeling him suffering, and he just didn't know. But they'll clear it up, and they gave him a shot, a steroid shot, and it helped the snot, bleeding snot, um, sores, and scabs. The back of his head was going bald. Yes. Yeah, the back of his head right know, here was I'm going bad. Yeah, yeah. And it was itchy. Yeah, I think it was a nervous thing for everything else, he kind of, you know. Yeah, isn't that funny that I'm really picking this up? And uh, he has really straight hair, mm -hmm, yeah. and um, he has a short haircut, and it's blonde and um, ashy color and stuff. And um, he was wearing sandals and a burgundy shirt and some uh, gray, sh dark gray shirts. 
That's what I've seen. And he brought a toy with him in his pocket. If he died, he wanted to be buried with it. It was like a it was like a tiger. Was it? Yeah, the thing is, he's older than that now, but I, yeah, but I, I haven't been around so much. Like, I, and when I got, think of him, he, I think of him being little. He's yeah, still, but he's like, when he got older, he got a mustache now. Yes, yeah, he has a mustache so when he's older, little, and he's like a lot taller, and um, he's got a different voice now. It's deeper, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. Um. Something about he's not afraid of death is what he always said. He, that, yeah. he always says he's not afraid of death. And, um, like he wanted to be buried with this little tiger that was in his pocket at this time. Um, and he carried around. He, um, oh my god. And he goes to, uh, I think he went to like a museum to see the ocean, underneath the ocean, or something. A museum where there's water, and these animals inside, underwater. Yeah. He would go to there, or something, and he, I think he was working there, or something, or he's wanting to, and he's got a son now. No, no, he's not that old, he's, he's still little. Oh, he wants to get a son, or he acts like a little brother, or something? Uh, yeah, he wants a little brother, but they don't have more kids. I don't really know, but I guess he, he treats kids like they're his own, or something? Yeah, he yeah. does. He acts pretty um, fatherly to his kids. He has a heart for kids because it's interesting. Is a boy's boys, a man's man, or some boy's boy? That's what he is. Does they say that about him? I don't know something now. Um. Oh my god. Let's see. A tiger's tooth or something. Collects it. Got it on his necklace now. I don't know. Stop uh, going. I, mean, I don't know that much about it. Right. I'm not down there. Well, we gotta find out. Okay. Well, let's get somewhere else that might be more relevant that you might know. <sighs> there is um, Cedarville. A lot of money that you'll be making over there, or you used to, or he did, or somebody did. Yeah, I know. I know. I know Cedarville. You know what I'm talking about. I, I, Making a lot of money there, it costs a lot of money, or you carried a lot of money, pocket it. For some reason, that name doesn't stand out, you know. Okay. Mm, a diamond shop? Did someone roll a diamond shop too? Like it was in a glass case? In like a store that no. <laughs> just a bunch of displaying? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Just like a watch store, some bullshit jewelry store, just some fucking scam. I mean, just some bullshit okay, that people could go to that order things and get a custom made. Yeah, I don't really, yeah. Your mom kind of worked there or something? Um, her yeah. best, one of her best friends did, yeah. Oh, so it does have to do with your mom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure my parents are as scandalous as I am. They right, just, they just, pretty much. They, they just, uh, because they're upstanding citizens. Yeah, like people no see one, them as above. You but know, see, I, I, years ago, I, I tuned in under that bullshit, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I don't know, I'm like, you guys are scumbags just like the rest of us. Right, right. No one um, is just, no one would ever believe it, you know. Just a scam. And horses? Did they own a horse before? No. Um, or someone's brother? My, my dad's uncle, my great uncle, he's, he's, Someone's brother, your dad. Yeah, 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 yeah he, uh, is, Uncle Bob uh, had and some horse. Had, he was he passed. They sold him. Yeah, he oh, had they, a did he whole look bunch like, of. Did it kind of look like you would have a, a, a hat on, or did you yeah, wear a hat over there? He wore hats a lot. Yeah, cowboy kind of hat. Yeah, a cowboy kind of hat. Yeah. He, did he, it kind of look like you? No way. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, a little bit. And that's what I'm seeing. And um. Okay. Um. The his wife or something looked kind of like. Your daughter, but with short hair, and dark. Uh, he never got married. He had a girlfriend that they were together a for like thirty. Years. And she had short hair up to here, and it was black. And she was she had uh, vampire looking teeth, and she was very dark complected, and her hair was black or something. And she was kind of tall with a long neck. Okay, uh, you I don't really know. Got, I never really knew. Well, because like he was real secretive. Uh, or we knew he was dating this lady, you know, whatever. But uh, yeah. like we, he lived out in the country. That's why. Yeah, yeah, far away. Uh, yeah, he lived in Dallas. Well, not in Dallas. It was DeSoto, right? Then. When he retired and lost his money because he's too nice to everybody, uh -huh. he had to move to like a shitty apartment. He had bad feet. He had diabetes. Yeah. His swelling feet. Yeah. 
and he died. Mm -hmm. um, he used to eat tobacco, and he had kidney failure. Yeah, he just eat tobacco. Yeah, he, 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 he ate tobacco. Yeah, it looked like shit that he ate. Yeah, because he would, he broke off, he like chewed up for a while, and spit the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, he had or, heart problems real bad. He always coughed and had heart, chest mm -hmm. problems, pains, and um, he but he died of kidney failure. Yeah, so cancer and died of kidney. Oh no, wow, yeah, I was about to see that. And it was about shitting all the time. He had crap in his pants all the time. Yeah, he had, he had rectal cancer, colorectal cancer. Oh, that poor thing. Okay, well, I'm seeing something like that, like, loosen up the stool all the time. And he would walk around with, um, you know, an IV and stuff in the hospital. He was dying in the hospital. Yeah. In the hospital gown. And um, his last words to me were, um, something. I don't remember. Take care of your daughter. I don't know. Oh, it's something about you'll be there and they're not always there or something like that kind of lecture I, like like you know you're not take care of so and so because they're not always going to be there I wasn't there with that. I was in prison I was, I was watching every dad I didn't even to go to school oh okay let's see you would read books or something mm -hmm. in prison did but, you have books there oh yeah, 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 yeah. is what I'm seeing yeah and um you got to be in a different side where there was a metal chair you got to sit in yeah you got special privileges there well I Kind of, yeah, kind, kind of. of. I caught my way onto the, the mental health floor, and then and you were classes. you were sweeping or mopping. You yeah, stopped. I did that for you me. stopped mopping. You just relaxed all the time. And you also had a cigar in there. You found one, or yeah, someone gave weird. you one. You were just giving gifts everywhere. It was everyone was doing things for you, like Lilith and Leo, and um, you were just being served there, pleasured, and all kinds of good stuff, I guess. And you got bubble gum. Yeah. You really got a little block of bubble gum? It, it, well, uh, yeah, I got it. I was on the community work crew once and then went out. Oh, yeah, there was like a, 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 you know, those glass things where you put a quarter in and you get things mm -hmm. out of it? You were always get, able to access that. Mm -hmm. And a cop gave you something out of there, like some little uh, licorice looking. It's not licorice, but it was like a, a, a fruit bar thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those are so good. Yeah. It looks in my, like grape. Grape, and then there was this pan pineapple one. Is it true? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's, it's, it's they couldn't taste it. Was, it. Uh, was he was a security guard. He was, he was green, but something. he was in green, not like... He was like in green colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah and he wasn't really like the cop yeah. douchebags. No. He was just there, and he was like being relaxed. Yeah, he like you and shared way. some uh, beer, too. He shared a beer with you? A beer. Uh, a can of beer. Not while I was locked up, but yeah. <laughs> okay, and he had markers, pink markers, and purple markers, and brown markers. Yeah. And he would write on the calendar mm -hmm. with that, something like that, because the calendar was a right dry erase. Mm -hmm. um, and he was telling you how many days you had, and um, calling you now, or something. He'll call you when you're ready to go down the hallway to be free. Oh, well, yeah, well, they'd have to, he'd have to, well, we could leave the floor, you know, locked up, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whenever we need to go anywhere, they would just call us to. Right, to the, I'm seeing this, him. I'm exploring that, hilarious, the high dive. And somebody, uh, was there a lifeguard that was in jail too there? That had his shirt off and he was a lifeguard, he got arrested? Or he reported somebody, like a lifeguard, he was there? He was in the, there's a lot of people, I didn't know them all, but I mean, and um, it was very crowded in the showers too. Or is that true? Um, and uh, you yes, started yes you no. started bleeding because you cut your toe on oh, your ear when you shaved it. You yeah, cut your ear. You cut your ear. Somehow, you were bleeding I, I still don't understand how I did it. But I remember cut, doing it you now. cut your left ear. Yeah, I was like right in this area. I was trying to. Yeah. And it was about shaving your hair. And um, you were bleeding in the shower or whatever. And your toenails were really long. They were sharp, and um, you would bathe with their clothes on. Is that true? I've done that before. I don't know where I was at though. <laughs> uh, um, and you had earplugs in your ears because you had a um, yeah. You had ear infections, so bad you couldn't get in them wet. Yeah, and, uh, that's what I'm seeing. And I got used to that, so I, they help me sleep too. Told you, Scorpio risings. I can read you. I can read you, Virgo risings, real good, and I like that. So interesting. Funny, huh? Mm -hmm. And um, 
a calico cat. You had one, and it was pregnant, and it had a white baby and a black baby and an orange baby. Just all the colors of what it was. All three of those. My daughter's and her mom's cat. And then it had a bunch of babies, and uh, they kind of abandoned them, and I had to go over there. Your daughter was young, and she had she had bangs. Yeah, she had bangs and hair up to here, and she was young. And she still wore long dresses, and she wore her mom's dress, or something, or she tried to wear grown-up dresses mm-hmm. when yeah. she was little. And she, still, and then when she grew up, she wore she wore those kind of clothes, yeah, <laughs> like the long dresses. <laughs> and she wore like a hat, like a, a shady hat, or you know, one of those yeah, she white wore straw hats. Hat. Yeah. She likes and like a white ponytail hat on arm and shell, mm-hmm. and just that hipster bullshit. <laughs> But it's cool, funny Pisces. And she likes sh- um, sh- those things that j- j- wind chimes, made out of wood or something. Yes. Yeah, and she has a whistle. And she 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 was a PE teacher. Mm, I mean, your daughter was a PE teacher. Uh, not that I know of, but I mean, something she, to do with kids and oh, uh, a team, a game. Yeah, she was a she was a. She She's whistled. on the drill team and she's in the band. Oh, did she use a whistle? She has a flute. I mean, she had a whistle. I think oh, or something I can else see a flute it. too. I remember they had a whistle on the cord. Yeah. She wore for some reason. I and she why. had emerald green earrings on. Yeah. Emerald green earrings. Is what I'm saying. Um, very pretty. Those are cool. It had like it was like a flower with a gold flower love mm-hmm. petals around it, but the middle piece was uh, emerald. Yeah. That's just one of the things I've seen. That's cool. And she was friends with the principal's daughter and son or something like that? Yeah, she's kind of a kid. A kid Connection. Like, suck up, yeah. That's why. And uh, she wants to be a principal too or something. She wants to be all kinds of things. Yeah. Know? She wants to be she's, dabbling she's, into everything. Yeah. And um, that's cool. Um, uh, the principal's son was in football. And he had asthma. He ran the track team, something like that. I don't know. I was, I was no present for a long for childhood. Okay. So. Right, okay. She did a lot of lettuce and cabbage yeah, in she's, school. She's, yeah, she's, She'd bring a whole thing of this looking lettuce thing. Is that a ball? Yeah. Was, we should uh, bring it to school. And she peanut butter and jelly yeah, she, with this piece of lettuce. Lettuce and peanut butter She has like a lot of weird tastes. <laughs> weird. I don't, I don't but that's what she's eating. And gummy bears. Some kind of gummy bears, and she still drinks soda, like strawberry soda and tea, mm-hmm. root beer. She likes root beer. I'm seeing her get that at the school. She's just boy, a lot of tall boys like hit on her. They like her as friends, and they're very smart. And she's very good at school. She's got it going on. She has these dreams and adventures, and she wants to do everything with animals. She just dabbles into everything, mm-hmm. and she's gonna be supported by a group of travelers. Something like that. And she's even been on a train before. Like, she's just got this traveling advantage. Yeah, she travels a lot. With she is very lucky with traveling for some reason. And, um... She brines at the principal's day. Whatever. <laughs> um, it's okay. When I was that age, I was a kid's up to. And she okay. brung him some balloons before. The principal. For his birthday. I mean, it sounds like something she would do. Wow, well, she's so sweet. I think his birthday was in January. The Capricorn, I think. Maybe, who knows. He had glasses, too, and they were red framed. Don't you don't know? Okay, then well, fine. I I, yeah, I really and then there was a black one, too. A black principal that she knew. Or a PE coach. I don't know. And he was sick, and he still went to work. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, well. He died, but Oh, he did? The uh, black he, principal? He, he was I mean, the PE team coach? Yeah. He, he was the PE coach that. and he got sick and he, he still went to school. Cancer. Oh, yeah, and he died. Yeah, okay. That's weird. He coughed up blood? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Even in school, he did. He tried to hide it, but he still wanted to be a teach. Oh, um, and she visited him and talked to him. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Um, and he, he had a scooter? A little scooter, like it was like a kid scooter. I don't know, but 
she had lunch with him before too. On three days before he died, they were outside having a oh, sandwich. Yeah. She had a sandwich. She had like this she egg, egg tuna reason. sandwich, yeah, tuna egg she sandwich. Oh, and um, okay. that's cool. Okay, um, I guess we're breaking it. Um, well, let me see. Dolphins, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, she them. loves dolphins. And I like dolphins. Like she's seen real dolphins though. She got to go on adventures. Field yeah, trip. She field got, trip. Field trip. Yeah, as you we we. we Sure and singing. Oh wow! She got to the dolphins, she sang so. in choir. Mm -hmm. Um, and sometimes she would lip sync. <laughs> she wears glasses when she reads music. Yeah, yeah. she she uh, wears contacts. Uh, but, okay, uh, what? Well, but, but she wears glasses sometimes. Like I usually have contacts when I'm out. So. Okay, cool. Oh, and her favorite place out the country, and she likes fishing too. Yeah, she likes fishing. Oh, she drove a boat. She, mm -hmm. she had the keys to it and they let her drive it. Something like that. Yeah. And, um, wow, well, she has, like, amazing life going on. Fun adventures. Dreams and adventures and all good stuff. Just good stuff. Oh, she's so good at school and she's like, it's going to help her even further in life. She's very successful. Wow, just got the genes. I hope so. Got the genes. And, um, oh, she got a chance to be in some kind of Butterfinger commercial? Or some kind of commercial? You don't know? I don't know. I mean, I'm... I, in I Wataki? Wataki? I don't know. I, I missed out on a lot. Oh, my. Well, then, we need to figure that out. Okay, back to something else. Okay, um, you were a construction worker sometimes? I have nothing You yet. played cards, and you smoked cigars? Are you sure? Like, gambling? Yeah, I'll do, do gambling. Is that what you do? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a bit, you know. That's hilarious. Okay. And, um, someone had a hooked on phonics that they showed it to you as a hooked on phonics game. It was like some kind of iPad game or something. Oh, they gave yeah, you, okay. they showed you why you were playing uh, gambling. Yeah, it was, it was like, a, and you even had one of those yeah, see through was, green visors. Uh, That's what I'm seeing. Everything, yeah, you know what I mean? And checkers, y'all play chess, and those are fun to play. And um, it was on a cloth chess checkers. Yeah, it was big old, big old, big old little, big old freaking um, chess pieces. That's what I'm saying. Not everybody has this. <laughs> and you know a guy named Calvin, yeah. you like your brother. Um, brother. He's a, my actual brother. Yeah, I know Calvin. You call him your brother and friend. Oh, yeah, okay, that's, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's uh, what I'm seeing. Yeah. It's, uh, it's my brother in crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, pretty. that's pretty cool. And this black dude would play cards with y'all, too. Mm -hmm. And um, he had a son and a nursery. A nursery? There was a nursery. You were, somewhere you worked, y'all played. It was like bowling, and there was a nursery. I have no clue. Something Y'all bowl? He had, uh, he had trophies? Oh, uh... I don't know. I think you're trying to with the four, though. Yeah, it's so And, um, he couldn't afford rides to go to work, but he had a truck. It was a black truck. He couldn't yeah. afford rides to work for some reason. Yeah. And something was wrong with his engine or something. I don't know what it was, but yeah. I, thought, I, I just thought he just wanted to buy gas. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And he took off his own tire just to pretend that something was wrong with it, but nothing was wrong with it. <laughs> Is that true? It was a tire off one time. Yeah, he was just pretending. He was pretending. He was just pretending. He wanted to save all his money. He was a greedy person. Yeah. He just wanted his money so he could save it, sell it, do whatever. He was just pawning things, whatever. And um, he gave you the advisory thing, or he sold it to you, right? The visor. I don't remember exactly who you started. Yeah, he's a. He's a oh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, he he ran a whole uh, oh, uh, game room. You know, yeah, with, with uh, check check pieces, well, uh, chip pieces or whatever. Well, they had those, but it was also with slot machines. You know, and, and, and one really? of the and, motels. And so that's how that's it, really cool. Wow. He was a he was a uh, he used to be a cop. Now he does that. Uh, oh yeah, you know. yeah. And he had he had like a car and a truck, and there was always yeah. something wrong with both of them. Yeah, yeah. There, there wasn't. Yeah. So, 
They never moved. It was Nothing just, changed. Yeah. There was no work ever done. He just didn't want, you know, people to screw He just was very yeah. greedy with his yeah. money and saving it. Mm-hmm. Just wanted to gamble with people, just to make things, trade things, just yeah. relationship with money everywhere. And, um, that's pretty cool that I'm just picking this stuff up. <laughs> it's funny. Um, and a trailer. He went to own a trailer and it blew up. It blew up because he did some bad in it and it blew up. Yeah. He had a trailer that... This was after I knew. After he I, was I, cooking I, bad yeah, things was, and it exploded in this trailer. He, he wasn't. He was led to somebody. And it was actually oh. somebody involved in running of the hotel. Yeah, okay. They died because of it and then it was yeah. the whole thing. And, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not a good thing. And, uh, he... The dude that was... The thing of the trailer was talking about demons and stuff. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. He was just wigged out and stuff, but it was like fear of demons. He was always about ridiculous because people, demons fall on people like that, but who knows whatever his trip was on bad, bad, per, bad trip, what he's on is in his head. And he was really messed up and uh, he would put auction, he would put, he would do not good things like with paint and stuff. He'd have paint or something. It's ridiculous. But he let himself die in there. He burned his leg. Yeah, he's, he had he some kind of leg thing. You know, he wouldn't talk about it really. That's crazy. And um, well, uh, there's all kinds of things going through my head now, and dragon tattoos, and some devilish wannabe bullshit. I just don't know. Whatever. I don't know. What's we'll something about him doing that? And then Count Dracula. Do you like that? Count. That, that that cereal? Oh, oh Count Chocula? Oh, Count Chocula. Uh, That's exactly what I'm seeing. Did you like that cereal? I mean, it was okay. I mean, uh, I like yeah. the I like the Count from Sesame Street, though. I don't know why. Because he, he counts. Yeah. I don't know. You know. And you were in college, dorm? Mm-hmm. You lived in a total dorm I, in that? Uh, I, I did live in a dorm one year. Yeah. You were in that, so you ate there? That that cereal? Uh, I was, I was just depressed, so I didn't want to leave my, my dorm room. So, uh, yeah, I just ate with the cereal because I only had a refrigerator bit enough for you to like milk. And well, milk. then, wow. And then, um, and croutons, and there was a pool there, too, right? Mm-hmm. At the dorm? Well, not at the dorm, but right close it's to close it. Close to uh, it. Yeah, the, the, the and you would hang out where they, you could hang out in the little room where there's the game room. Like, probably just one pool table thing or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah something yeah. like that. And that's where you get some food and croutons were there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little, 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 little pub kind of thing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, I like croutons, you know. This is so interesting. <laughs> um, at Devil's Den, have you been there? I have. I, I did too! What's up? Yes. We went with a, that's cool. a, a paranormal investigation team. Oh, really? It, it, yeah. What about this? Is this paranormal or what? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, if they were still together, you would, uh, they'd like you. If they saw me do this on you, <laughs> um, they don't. That doesn't mean they're going to be readable, but they might be able to join in that. a little bit. The energy might be able to be seen too, since yours is there, bright Leo tenth house. Hi, mm-hmm. look at the big old light that can be seen and shined on for everyone to go towards the light, like Caroline, bitch. <laughs> that could be you. Hello, and um, so many things, um. And you used to hunt for gold or dig for gold? Oh, you had watches and you ha- you found them with the metal detector? You lost your watch? Or something you metal detected today? Uh, yeah, I should have had a session with metal detectors. You had a session with metal detected today? And you tried to metal detect your watch or something? Yeah, it didn't work. Or whatever this is, okay. chain. Oh, okay. yeah, it was similar to, yeah. And, um, okay, something like that. And the beach, too? You were at the beach? Yeah. That's where you were doing it? Yeah, we were still at the beach. And jellyfish there. pool. A jellyfish look a little... Yeah, they're all, they're, all, they're all... They're all over the place you see them. You can see that in your vis- in the visions of you. That's so cool. Wow. Nighttime, you'd go to the beach walking. And, um, you, the right time. Yeah, and you, you met these other, like, Puerto Ricans or people with the uh, triangle hats. And you would sit around and chill and smoke them. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Was <laughs> I was just seeing that. And, um, like, Hawaiian clothes. Or yeah, I used to wear a lot of Hawaiian shirts, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, the pastor, 
Were you you a pastor? Uh, I I got ordained on the internet in 1997. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was like, you, they're like, you can do this. I'm like, what? I didn't. Yeah. So, yeah. And you married uh, a really young people like this girl with blonde strawberry blonde hair but it's very yellow and then she had bangs and she was short and she's heavyweight and she married this tall black guy or asian guy and you married them two together or something like that oh, no, I didn't, yeah, I didn't. like it was under the cover she just like gave you five dollars or something yeah just, she was she had kids and she just wanted to get married mm -hmm. she had kids and she was on another one on the way mm -hmm. that's what i'm seeing and you married them just for five dollars Cause she's like, I've got a five dollars of quarters. So you like keep the quarter, <laughs> get your kids something with the quarters. Right. You said, right? And then, yeah. then you machine over here and go get yourself kids something. That is what you said. Get yourself something nice. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's so, so cool. That's so, smart, that's that's so sweet. Wow. And um. Yeah. And they were. Uh, it was at the beach too. They went. Mm -hmm. Kiss each other at the beach and. They they made like um, boat paper boats for the ocean and the valves yeah, that's they put out. in the ocean to float in the ocean. Wasn't that so freaking cool? That's pretty cool. Gonna see all this stuff. So much fun! I keep going. It'll just be this dumb shit. Maybe spirits will come eventually. Hopefully not the demons, because that's some bullshit. Because I'll need Jesus and <laughs> I'd have to tune in to get there, or I'm fucked because I'm just here like you are. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Well, I think that you have demons, mm -hmm. though, mental demons. Uh, you think of empty spots in your mind. Well, who knows? I don't know. Something that terrifies you, or you used to even volunteer for Halloween houses. I did that too. Did you do that? I've done it before. Yeah, that's fun. And here, was this year? Yeah, it was this year. I had a couple of instances of. Um, and you acted I'm like you were a dentist with a mouth cover. You know, you acted like a dead baby was in a plate or something of blood. Uh, oh, and you're yeah. a dentist well, and you were like an evil doctor. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah, do that? Yeah, okay. Isn't that so cool? I'm picking that up. The, 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 the plague spots that you're talking about. It was very... Earlier this year, like, I had some... A baby I that you wind like, up baby that was... was mm -hmm. And you were just doing that and it was hilarious and cool. And you work, did you work with the dentists? Like real uh, ones? Well, my, my, my uncle, the, the one who passed, he was an orthodontist, and I have a cousin who's a dentist. Okay. But yeah. Medical treatments and stuff like that. Um, you used to sign wagers? Did you have to sign a waiver for something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, a lot of jobs I've had, yeah, I had to sign. And waivers. you, and swim, like, big splash kind of swimming uh, stuff? Like, I don't know, like, a slide, slides, swimming slides, somewhere. I don't know, something like that. And then, um... We go to the water park. Well, used to go. Water park, water park. okay. Water park. <laughs> Sounds groovy. And then, um... Your master plan, something about a master plan you had, and... I don't know, um... A lot of master plans. Oh, yes. None of them were, uh... Okay. None of them came to fruition. Fruition. Wow, that's still anywhere. <laughs> <sighs> you had a um, witch sucker. You know, shaped like a witch. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks so good. And big witch sucker. Yeah. You passed out candy, and um, you had this huge house wherever you were. It looked like the president's house or something. It was a little white house inside, and big stairs near, right in front of you when you walk in. Something like that. Oh, and you owned a church. You closed up a church before. You got keys to the church to close yeah. up. And um, you'd read books all the time. Just read and read. You read the newspaper if you had to. You like reading? Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, did you watch Harry Potter books? Did you read that bullshit? I read all. I did read them and walked up, yeah. Most Leos like to read Harry Potter books. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, I, mean, I read enough to where I was... You're I, like a library. I, yeah, I read, like... I, my mom would right. send me books and oh, I'd read them in a day or two. That so, is that's so how I read all the books in the damn library. Yeah. That is so interesting. That's cool. Yeah. Knowledge is great. Yeah, it's power, but experience is wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> Groovy. Hmm. In the atmosphere. 
Um, you were into techno at the time, you went to a rave? You went to this rave and it was a big hotel too, next to it or something, or ran by one? Yeah. And it was very tall, like super tall building. I don't know, something like that, with elevators. Um, were you chewing on, um, bullets? Like, gun bullets before? Were you chewing them? I don't know why. I mean, yeah, I would, like, suck them in there. I don't know why. No, no, it's the bullets. Like, some, and they're red? Uh, they had red tubes, yeah, they were red. They, they were, like, plastic they around were, it, but mm -hmm. they were bullets. And you were just chewing on it. Yeah, During the rave? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, well, yeah, of, um, because of the grinding? <laughs> and the light it was fun you got a rag out to the big place and there was a swimming pool inside there too mm -hmm. inside warm swimming pool wow and a DJ and your DJ was your friend he was one of your friends yeah he was one of your friends and he had uh, a, a, a tongue piercing that was glow in the dark and it was pink yeah, he, and he gave you something to uh, trip out on or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, he's uh, he's always good about that. <laughs> and um, they whereas they had a map like geography map too. He had because he was planning on traveling yeah, with his uh, crew. He's having just take out no band and all this cool stuff. Parties mm -hmm. everywhere, going festivals, and he had a map so he can so travel. Yeah, great word, he made it where he wanted to go. Wildness. Yes. And he got to Mexico. Mm -hmm. He come from Mexico to bring some stuff. Like they say, they wanted to bought a wall for that kind of stuff yeah, that yeah. he got from Mexico, is what I'm seeing. Yeah, we gotta keep that out. And, um, what? So we gotta keep all that out. <laughs> yeah, it's private. Nothing to do with no one. No one knows anything. Anyways. Um. And... There's an island that he wants to go to. Some stuff. Anyways, what questions do you want to ask me as a psychic or whatever you think? Let's see what I can pick up on if it works. Um. Who knows how long ago? My one of my exes. Um, just start calling me again. And, um, it's always right at the time when I'm getting over. You know, even they're like, hey, what are you doing? Uh -huh. And, um, so I don't know what's, what's the deal with that. What's uh, she want this time? Uh, I don't think I can see her, but I'm seeing some kind of. I'm seeing a Mexican girl who's like housekeeping. And she has curly hair. She's black. I'm not sure, but she's a housekeeper. And, um, your sister Trey knows something. Tracy or Trey. My sister's Chris about a trade. A friend of mine is real close. Okay. And, and, and he's Dinah. Trade, and, and, oh, and he looks like a girl, but he's Mexican? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, that's right. He has a different person. He's an ex, yeah. yeah. Okay, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm right. Okay, and um, I don't know. I'm seeing on Dinah. Something about Dinah. No, no, no. Diamond neck bracelet. Some drag crap. Um, let me see, um, well, you're pimink, pimink, something about monkeys, I don't know, and I'm just, I'm going other places, I don't, I don't see the person that, uh, calls you right now, she thinks she needs a truck, truck, pickup truck, and you used to have a truck that was blue and white, it was like a pickup truck, you had a pickup truck, oh, you used it though, oh yeah, and you helped him sell it? Uh, or you just gave it to the person to the tie, to title to the somebody else. He just gave it to somebody. You know, I oh, was, he just. I did. was like, you could make some money on that. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't need any more money. He's got plenty of money. And you were in the middle of it, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I, I handing the title to the guy. You handed the title to the guy. Yeah, you wanted to sell it. You act yeah. like you were selling it and everything. And you had a suit and tie. Yeah, because I was working at a car lot. <laughs> Scam. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, it was. It was Most seconds. Gemini's are fraudulent scam artists and car salesmen and stuff, but that's where that's for the Virgos. They like to turn everything products, sell things, but 
Gemini's are like still at Mercury is a liar and they you know sell things away. But anyways, back to the life of weird, really cool stuff. Um I'm going to get stamps, and it was ink stamps at the car lot place. You would stamp, ink stamp, something like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, you were polyamorous. Is that when you realized you were polyamorous? Um, with somebody who worked there, uh, and he was very actually, flamboyant was, was and time, tall. At the time, um, is that true? And he worked well, there. I, I did actually during that time period. I, I was working at toward the end of what that. Uh, with my first trans ex, uh, but we but at work poly, he was yeah. more of a man at work. I but he was acted right. like all yeah. heightened in energy, and he had a mustache. Oh, it was like yeah. a baby mustache. Yeah, it was, it was, and he was, he, was <laughs> he was very tall and stuff. And um, he had suit tie and stuff too. And um, it's funny. What about spirits? You don't pick up any spirits. Something, something, something. Try to make yourself think of some spirits that you want me to pick up on. Mm, see if we can communicate. Um, um, a guy named Trenton is just somebody you've been working with now. Trenton, somebody named Trenton. Clinton. Clinton. Yeah. Okay, I guess it's Clinton then, whatever. Okay, well, let's get the story going, because it's an hour long. This is a what would you do in this spiritual situation. So I've been through all these situations, and I would like to know what you would do. There was a spirit that had a box in its hand, and it says, Take it, take it, take it, take it, and it was like desperate to give it to you. What would you do? Uh, I would let that spirit keep its box. What would you do if an angel had a ball of light, and it was... Like handing it to you, what would you do? That's an angel, I'll probably take it. What would you do if a demon said, I can make you powerful? Um, uh, I mean, I know, I, I know that's true, but I, I know the cost and the fact that demons try to uh, 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 turn your wishes against you, so I don't really try to traffic with demons. So. Yeah, don't. And you might not be able to trust the angels so because you never know what the fuck it's going to give you. Yeah, yeah that's true. But I've seen all this, and I said no to them all. But the angel with the, with the ball of light—it was a guy. Um, my battery's going dead. I, I said, give it to the person because she, the girl who sees the angels around her, mm -hmm. she sees them the whole time. She doesn't even record it. I'll blame. She says, I accept those kisses from the angels all the time. And she's like, go ahead, take it. I was like, no, why don't you just accept it? Because I don't know what it is. He won't tell me. So, you take it. And give it to her. And so she did, and it went to her mouth, and it lit up her eyes, and showed me her higher self, and her higher self spirit was dressed in jewels, and she was dressed in rags, like, you know, pajamas, and then she's just in life. She lives in a trailer, but she had these angels around her, and she saw them all the time, is what she says. I and mean, that was crazy, and she was a Libra, and I just, like, ran into her. Well, there you go, that was your little survey, a little testimony, what would you do? What did you do with not? the demon? No, no, no. Oh, I said, spirit the box. I said, get the fuck out of my room, get the fuck away yeah. from me, you are crazy, and I saw that there was cords connected to him, connected to demons, like he was desperate to just give this curse or something away, like, fuck you, hell no, don't you even try to do that to anybody, I'm sore, that's sad that you had a desperate thing, and I'm alive, and I could help, okay, I don't want to have to get, get rid of it and give it to somebody who's undeserving or whatever. I had to ch make a choice like dragging to hell kind of thing. Well, I don't mean that. Yeah, the to hell, the, you, yeah, it's you just like that. Away. You have to give it away as a gift. And then yeah, it I would not want to be responsible for anybody's suffering or anything like that because anybody can change. Anybody can go into the light. Anybody can be forgiven. Anybody can have a better treatment towards life. Okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, this dude left this phone in my car and this dude actually just so happens to have the same type of phone show them your phone well not that got you where i want you now this is your birth chart you are a gemini in the eighth house gemini which means you might die with lung problems hand problems or a heart attack because your sun signs there your ego is there in your death. Okay, your moon is in Capricorn in the third house. 
Capricorn will change your schizophrenic, your mom's a two-faced, and you grew up fast. You had to buy your own car if you ever got one. Have you ever got your own car? Um, I mean, I, I, have, I have bought cars before, but you know, I've had to give them to you, too. Your Saturn's in Virgo in the 10th house, Leo, which means your dad was your biggest fan, and he's full. He was an accountant. And um, your Jupiter's in Leo, so you're lucky with unearned attention or something. And you're t in your career, probably. Let's see. Jupiter and Leo in the, in the ninth house of higher learning and expansion and traveling. Your your Mars is in Taurus, so this is your this is how you get mad at people, and this is your sexual expression, and it's in the seventh house of other people. Mm -hmm. So when you get mad, you just you don't want to get mad and ruffle over his feathers because someone might buy your Girl Scout cookies and this person might do this and that. So you just act all calm and stable until they nitpick at you, nitpick at you. And they're like, uh-huh, yeah, you think you're real cute now, but if you make me mad, you don't want to see it. So let's just chill. And then it's like they nitpick at you, nitpick at you. Then you get scorned and you're mean and so evil and powerful and you destroy the person that never wished that they messed with your anger. And you're probably good at financial security gains and uh, from other people. You think other people are like this, but you're like this, I guess. I don't know, you attract people like that, I guess. I don't know. Your Venus is in Gemini, the player, the community person, the person who puts, gets samples of everyone and um, treats everyone like that they're, that they're the one or whatever. And then you would leave one for the other, I don't know, but you still play over one. And it's in the freaking what house is it in? The seventh house is, as well, so you just attract people just like that too, I mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. Your fifth house is in Pisces. Hmm. Because, you know, if you did drugs, your heart might be problems with your heart. Um, because your sun signs in the eighth house. Heart and lungs is we need to take care of. <clears throat> and um, Uranus is in your first house. It's in Scorpio, too. So, wow. Your third house is in Capricorn. That's how you write and do your signatures and stuff. I don't know. You write like your mom or something or about your mom. I don't know. Your Mercury's in Cancer. So you have a voice to your emotions, mothering and nursing stuff, I guess. In the 8th house. Okay, I've called knowledge. And your Lilith is in Leo in the 10th house. So everybody revolves around you, especially at work in your career. What about that? Um, you're meant to have a career. You're meant to have a reputation. You're meant to be in the spotlight. You're meant to be in the public side, but it restricts you and takes it away from you. Like, you could have a career and then it'll give, take it away or something. That makes sense to you. And your dad probably gave kid gave you that and then take it away and he was critical of you or something. And he taught you day to day routines or something. Mm -hmm. Did he want you to be a writer? Was he a writer? Uh, no, he's a, he's a doctor and he wanted me to do that. Was, oh, of doing. health. Health yeah, and stuff. I'm just not. Virgo rules that stuff. The diet, he's, baby. He's born in May. May oh, 5th. He's a Taurus. My favorite sign. But, uh, so he, I didn't want to do that. And I have, I've, I've been a writer. I've written. Yeah. Russell Brown playing books and things. And, uh, there you go. Cool. Third house Capricorn is how you're writing and stuff. And your sound is in Virgo, so you can be a writer. Hmm. You could publish things and then could take it with you. Like, you'd be this famous book in a person. So do that. And did I say something stupid? And they take it you know, like mm -hmm. current cancel culture? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, celebrities. Mm hmm. You could be one. Death. You have a beautiful spirit. Your 12th house is in Libra. You'll be with somebody when you're dead. <laughs> if you want. I guess. And then, like, you have a lot of stuff on here. Okay, what people come to you for is to heal as Aries, just being yourself and being a leader and sticking up for people or something. And your crown's in Taurus, which means you always have to heal your artificial bullshit and your food, like emotional food eater or something. Mm -hmm. Your palace is in Pisces, so you like creative crap like this and spiritual stuff. 
and your projects, your Junos and Taurus, you want to met. You're you're like the breadwinner in the marriage. <laughs> Financial secure one. <laughs> if this is an Aries. Wowness. Stuff like that. <laughs> That's groovies. Also your Mercury, yeah. Mercury and Sun are all in the eighth house of death, sex, transformation, communities, siblings, neighbors, I don't know, just a lot of people. Mm. Your fourth house is in Aquarius, so she's probably like, you need to go to boys camp, and she's prejudiced and racist or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Fourth house Aquarius, on the inside of the home. You become a rebellious person, and you want to treat everyone equally and everything, and just be yourself, and you're like, screw this, mother, and you have those challenges with that. And obviously, she made you grow up fast, like she was not going to buy you a car. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you had to be, like, the, your mom's dad or something. Because she just wanted to be a friend, or just like this bitch, you know? Who's like, typical drama show all the time. You just had to learn that, and how to feel, feel like an outcast, and you just couldn't get away. And when you get out, then you're like, look at me, look at me, oh my god, I'm the boss, and everybody at your job, like, has a crush on you and stuff. <laughs> and they revolve around you and stuff, and they walk on eggshells at your career. You have a career? Um, well, I, I was happy. Yeah, I do about business stuff, but not with the uh, uh, fucking plague that's going around. Uh, so it can be taken away from you. Mm -hmm. Saturn can take it away, because Saturn is in Aquarius right now. It could take your home away. Have you got your home taken away from you, too? Uh, not recently, but in the past, yeah. Okay. Well.